G'day guys, we have just received this Kokoda um, from one of our customers and they've come to us to get a, um, a lithium system upgrade with an inverter, 2000 watt and a drive inverter. Um, and I just thought I'd quickly take you through what was in the van previously to um, them bringing to us. So they've got two AGM batteries. Um, and they've also got a 1500 watt inverter with all the usual sort of solar regulator and a couple of solar panels and all those sorts of things. But probably the most important thing here is to look at um, how inverters are installed depending upon the particular person's qualifications. Now, um, bearing in mind we're actually electrical contractors, um, licensed electricians, um, so we obviously can integrate um, uh, inverter fully into the caravan and what that basically means is you come to your power point in the kitchen and it will have power when you are off grid whereas the way this has been done it's been installed by I would say not a licensed electrician um, it could have been done by any other particular qualification auto electrician or somebody else um, now the installation isn't terrible, it's, it looks quite neat, tidy, the um, cabling on the DC side of things has been done quite well. Um, but as you can see from this extension cord that's coming out of the seat here, to get 240 volt whilst off grid, they've got to plug in here, whatever they would like to use. And bearing in mind this is a seat that also has a table in front of it, which we've removed so that I can get access to this particular part of the um, the seat so that I can work on it when we do the upgrade. But they would come into their caravan, they would turn their inverter on via this switch, which is down here, and then they would theoretically have 240 volt available at this extension lead. Now, you know, forgetting forgetting whether that's actually safe or otherwise, we, we, you know, question mark that in the first place. But it's also a little bit of an inconvenience because the table's in the way. So to get at it, you've got to sort of move the table around and then you've got to get another extension lead or you've got to put the appliance that you want to use on the table that is here. Get your extension lead that's already got the seat on top get your extension lead and plug that in, use your appliance or use your appliance over here in the kitchen, which is obviously then gonna have an extension lead running through the caravan. So as I mentioned before, the way we do our installations, because we are electrical contractors, licensed electricians, uh, we basically fully integrate the inverter into the van. So what that means is that you come into your caravan Yes, the inverter is going to be in the same location. The difference being that I've run the cables up to control the inverter up the top here. And also then all the 240 volt cabling is then integrated through the van as well. So I, I add in some additional cabling, which will then interface to the existing part of the um, caravan's 240 volt. And you turn the switch on inside your van and you will have 240 volt at the wall in the kitchen, rather than needing to run all these cables around the kitchen. So I hope that helps.